I've never been the biggest fan of Bethesda's RPGs. Though I love the vibe of Fallout 3, I never finished it, and I found Fallout 4 a bit of a slog. I bounced off Skyrim several times and haven't bothered to go back to the earlier Elder Scrolls games, though people ride so hard for Marwyn that I'm seriously considering it. Though I had hoped the space offer setting would be enough to keep me going, my experience with Starfield was the same. After half a dozen hours, I decided I only had time for either Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3, and Baldur's Gate 3 was better. Starfield also ran terribly on my aging gaming laptop, which is on me, not Bethesda, but still contributed to my decision. More than any of those factors, though, I'm just not that compelled by Bethesda's approach to RPG design. Its games often have cool worlds, but I'm just not that interested in the mechanics it uses to bring those worlds to life. On the other hand, I love Obsidian because it zigs in all the places Bethesda's act. Bethesda's games prioritize systemic interactions over character-driven roleplay, which makes clips from them interesting, but not very interesting to play. It's extremely fun to see someone place a bunch of oranges or hunks of cheese on their spaceship and watch as they bounce off each other in realistically simulated ways. That isn't something I'll ever actually do in my own playthrough though, and in my experience Bethesda's games don't actually do much to motivate players to seek out that kind of play. Games like Hitman and Tears of the Kingdom use challenging objectives or shrines to force you to engage with the game's potential. That's less common in Bethesda's games, which may be a big part of the reason they leave me bored. Still, I would be happy to see another RPG studio pick a corner of Starfield's world and use it as the setting for a smaller, more character-driven RPG. Take Neon, or Akil City, or New Atlantis or Cydonia and set an RPG in there in the surrounding area. Build meaty quest lines with a high degree of narrative flexibility and character choice. Bethesda builds interesting worlds with cool systemic interaction, but actual roleplay tends to be pushed to the fringes. That's partially because its worlds are so big that they end up being shallow. I was a big fan of Obsidian's The Outer Worlds because the studio decided to keep its galaxy modest in size. Baldur's Gate 3 was similar. The game seems huge because it's so stuffed with quests, characters, and choices, but the area the map occupies is fairly small compared to even a smaller open world game. This is what I would love to see from Bethesda. It shouldn't have banned Starfield because it wasn't as big of a hit as most of us expected. Instead, it should let another RPG studio play with the world it's created and see how a smaller team uses the world to do interesting things at a smaller scale. This is what Obsidian did with Fallout New Vegas, and the result was one of the most beloved games in the series. Right now, the Starfield brand needs rehabilitation, and another studio making a modestly sized but great RPG in that world might just do it.